Hey everyone, today we are making zucchini bread two ways, one sweet and one savory. They are both so delicious for breakfast or a snack and a great way to use fresh zucchini from the garden or farmer's market. The sweet version is chocked full of cinnamon and walnuts, it's just absolutely beautiful. And the savory version has onions and cheddar cheese and it's almost like a quiche bread. So let's get started by making my sweet zucchini bread. So I have one large zucchini here that I am just scooping out some of the seeds so that the bread isn't too watery. If your zucchini doesn't have a lot of seeds, you can just skip that step. And then we are just going to grate it. And we're looking for about two and a half cups of zucchini here. And then to a large bowl, I am adding three eggs, as well as one cup of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar. And we're gonna mix that around. And then I am adding one cup of vegetable oil and three teaspoons of vanilla extract and a quarter cup of applesauce. Now in a separate large bowl, I have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and we're just gonna whisk that around and then we want to add our wet ingredients to the dry and just fold that to combine. And this is optional, but I like to add one cup of chopped walnuts. So this recipe actually makes two loaves of zucchini bread. I like to make one regular loaf and two mini loaves because I like to share it with my friends and family. So I greased all of the loaf pans and I am just dividing the batter among them. And my oven is preheated at 325 degrees and we are going to bake this for about 45 minutes and 35 minutes if you're making mini loaves. And to check, we can use the toothpick test, and if you stick a toothpick in the center and it comes out clean, we are good to go. I like to let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes, and then I run a knife along the outside to loosen it and flip it out onto a wire rack to cool. This bread is something I've been eating since I was a little kid. It is just so good, the perfect amount of sweetness. You really don't taste the zucchini, it just adds a lot of moisture to the bread. Very similar to a banana bread if you've never had it before. It is especially good toasted with a little bit of butter. Now moving on to the savory zucchini bread. This is one I've actually only been making for the past five or six years. It was a recipe from a dear woman that I worked with. And I had never had a savory zucchini bread before, but it's so delicious. It's almost like a mix between a quiche and a bread. So we are doing the same thing with the zucchini as we did with the sweet bread. And again, we are looking for about two to two and a half cups of the zucchini. And then I have a half an onion that I am finely dicing. And to a large bowl, I am adding two cups of Bisquick baking mix. And then to that, I am adding four eggs and a half a cup of oil. And once that's combined, we are going to fold in the zucchini and onion and one cup of grated cheddar cheese. Now this recipe makes one loaf, so again I have my loaf pan greased and I am just pouring the batter into the pan and I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees and we are going to bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes. And once again we are going to allow this to cool for about 10 minutes in the pan and then we are going to flip it out. And look how golden and delicious that is, oh my gosh. As I said before, it's almost like a quiche and it is definitely a great breakfast bread, but I've also had a couple of slices of this with a nice salad for dinner and it is just wonderful on a super hot summer day. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me and making zucchini bread two ways. 
Whether in our gardens or farmers markets, zucchini is abundant here. So every summer I make both of these breads at least a couple of times. As always, if you give these recipes a try or have a question for me, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys and thank you so much for watching to the end. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.